Hello everyone, greetings from Ghana. I'm Isabel Mesa and I'm presenting on the novel approach for denoising the single cell RNA sequence data for differential gene expression analysis. Single cell RNA sequencing was introduced to solve the technical challenges faced with the bulk RNA sequencing. That is, the bulk RNA sequencing obscured the biological relevance of the individual cells. Therefore, in single-cell RNA sequence, individual cells are isolated and sequenced, aligned and quantified to, as, to generate the expression value, that's the read count. This read count is unique, but then highly complex in many aspects. It is characterized as having high level of noise and sparsity. Currently, there are some methods that have been proposed or designed to correct this noise present in the data. However, these methods tend to either overcorrect or undercorrect the noise. Therefore, in this work, the work seeks to develop a novel method for correcting and recovering the single cell RNA set count data. Here is a workflow of denoising with the wavelet transforms, where, after quantification, we have the noisy count data. The wavelet transform is computed on this data to generate some set of coefficients. From this coefficient, a threshold value is estimated, and then we threshold the wavelet coefficient. The thresholded wavelet coefficients are then reconstructed using the inverse wavelet transforms to get the denoised, the denoised data. The model was implemented on both the simulated, on a simulated data and then a real data. Figure 3 presents um, the data the single cell data before denoising on the left panel and then after denoising on the right panel. So it can be observed that after denoising, the data still preserves its important features, which is also a feature of the wavelet transform. So the wavelet denoising method proposed correctly corrected the noise and imputed the data with, an, with a minimum error of 7.2 7 and then we went ahead to incorporate the model with the man me test which yielded an accuracy of 0.8 for finding the differential gene expression among the cells. In conclusion, we would say the model was successfully designed and implemented with some kind of minimal errors and currently the parameters are being, some parameters are being considered to fine tune the model. I would like to use the opportunity to acknowledge my supervisors and then also the funders of the work. Thank you for your attention.